Here we go for a little short walk with Miss Molly. Molly Dolly. Yes, you're a good girl. Yes, Molly. Be right back. Okay, here we go. Don't mind me, I'm just waking up. <laughs> Come on, go more. I'm gonna go down this way to the tracks today. Hope everyone's enjoying their Thursday or Friday or whatever day it is for you. I know some people watch these videos that are over across the water, so. Feels like it's gonna be a beautiful day. It looks like a beautiful day. Molly's got a poop. <laughs> well, let's see, let's look back this way. Nope. Come on, let's go. I'm pulling. You know, I don't like pulling. Come on. No. Come on, girl, go go potty. Come on. No. Not looking back there. Let's go. Molly has this bad habit of pulling or trying to pull. Hold on. I don't know half the problem is. Yeah. Fix Molly's collar. So I stop this. Come on, go poop. Yeah, nice little flowers over here. Surprising what nature will do. Down tree. Oh. There's a couple. There's a squirrel. Going way high. Come on, Molly. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, girl. I'm just waiting for her to find a spot to poop. Normally I won't walk down tracks like this, but don't definitely don't try this at home, kids. This is an abandoned track at this point. Uh, for anyone that hasn't seen my other video like this, this track is actually going to be turned into like a trail. Uh, so people can hike it, walk it, it will have some gardens and stuff like that on it. So I think they're completely removing the track. 
So, got a little book bag there. Come on, girl. Come on, let's go. There's another bag. Hmm, interesting. Miss Molly Dolly. Come here. I just gotta take the reins from her. She thinks she's gonna be the pack leader and I'm trying to break her that. Oh. That's a good girl, Molly. Good girl. His Abishans, place I kind of frequent uh, somewhat regularly when I need uh, fittings for like the sump or whatever I'm gonna do. Small projects. This one year veteran, you can get a little bit of a discount on stuff, so. <laughs> Miss Molly. been tempted to grab that slow sign right there but they use that for the uh, tours when they have the railway tours I can't remember the exact name of it but they're the little almost like uh, rail cars tiny rail cars where you can pedal more like a bicycle Street. A little half mile walk, three quarters of a mile walk, roughly. How you doing? Hope everyone's doing great. Hey, stop pulling me. Good girl. Good girl, Molly. <clears throat> on walks for the first 15 20 minutes sometimes a half hour she tries to pull at and then once she starts getting relaxed and comfortable she'll stop trying to pull ahead right molly There's my truck. <clears throat> Here's my place.
A little short walk with Molly, just to get her out and a little walk. I'm planning on doing a hike this weekend before work on Saturday, so look out for that. It won't be a long hike because I gotta get back into shape doing the hikes, you know. So we are back now. I will see you guys later. Sit, girl. Come on, sit. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, give me a bark. Oh, Molly is the fiercest fly competitor. Sure, you or not fly? Uh, fly eater. Fly flies next to her. She tries to eat it. She's pretty successful at it most of the time. She'll chase a fly around the whole house. All right, guys. I'm back at my place. Don't mind the mess. I was actually cleaning yesterday. Excuse the noise. Here's Bluey. My son's little veil tail beta. Right Beautiful beta. I gotta clean the tank again. I do like uh once or twice a week, I'll do a 50% water change. I know betas can stand a lot, tolerate a lot more, but it's my son's fish. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I just do enough to suck the stuff out of the bottom. I mean, this is a two and a half gallon tank that's meant for aquaponics, as you can see. I just gotta um, buy some plants for him. Or not plants, but uh, I gotta get uh, like a little house plant or something to go out of that. <clears throat> I've been thinking about taking the Nana Petite and putting the roots in there and letting it just grow above ground, but <clears throat> I don't know. I still got to uh, go from there and here's my other 200 watt heater. I got a three pack of them for like 20 bucks. I know they're kind of a, a brand from China, but I'll just try them. They're cheap. I know everyone will say, well cheap stuff, you know, you buy what you get. I understand that, but I don't have 90, 100 bucks just to drop on flu ball heaters. You know? So, right now, here's this tank. I really didn't do much in it yesterday. Um, got some Java moss, some Christmas moss, and, um, Java fern. Here's the Christmas moss down here. I think this is the Java fern. Got some duckweed up top. My current temperature, oh, that's why I have the, this crank the AC on, 72 degrees. I left the fan on all night last night on the AC because it was 40 something degrees outside so I had to push this air in. Um, everyone thinks they're going to get fed. Here's one of the smaller Oscars. Both of them looking to be fed. Everyone's up here besides the uh, uh, long thin pleco. Here's the 18 gallon. I gotta put some fish in here. Bought a duckweed because I was taking duckweed out of these two. I'm gonna take more duckweed out of these two tanks today. Here's a quick glance at the African cichlids. Um, these move Molly. These rocks right here, I go to um, take and I'm gonna take all the the bridges out and all that and actually just make this completely rock. Um, as you can see, the substrate in here has been moved around from the um, African cichlids. Uh, I'm doing 50% water changes on this tank today. This tank, because I haven't done water changes in a while, those top offs. Um, I'm actually going to drain this water down like 50% or so. I'm going to drain this bucket halfway down. Um, this is the one I usually change the 10 gallon waters in here. I'm going to do. Um, probably 40 or 50 percent water changes to these tanks. Sorry if it's a little dark in here. <clears throat> I didn't do what I was going to say yesterday, unfortunately. I was exhausted, so I just relaxed and kind of laid in bed and tried to get some sleep yesterday. So that's my plan today. Um, here's my 
crown a crown tail beta um, gomer pile uh, here's the pork chop rasboras sorry if it's a little dark let me actually let's turn this on there we go sorry for the glare there's the pork chop rasboras <clears throat> Molly doing her thing. Quiet girl. Sorry for it being dark in here. <clears throat> Got a lot of fry, fry, fry in here. Back up, girl. See all the fry that coming all front. <clears throat> I didn't realize I had a male in here still. Guppy, so he's been impregnating all these females. I was just trying to have them drop their fry so I could move them out of this tank. Um, got a couple big snails, mystery snails, in the tube for that sponge. I'm not sure if I have any ghost shrimp left in here. Got this sword plant. Got the Anubius. Uh, got water sprite. Uh, of wisteria. Got this plant that I pulled off. I've cut this down a few times. I tried putting it in this 125, but. The Oscars kept dragging it around. Um, so I might do above top sump here. Just put a little pump right here, over here where the other overflow is, and get one of those um, or two of those. Uh, what it, what the heck is it called? Um, planters where it's meant for a railing, and then build it out. Put a piece of foam or something, um, and put it up on the back here. Or I'll just build some supports for it and I'll have it as being a, like a little trickle bed and I'll put a big light up here or something over it, like a grow light um, with some plants in it. I did get three little Oscars, but one was white and these are the tiger ones. I mean, they're still pretty small. I mean, they're probably only three inches, three or four inches from head to toe, where you can see that's the female after just about a year the female started out up at this size so pretty cool here's another shot of molly she wants me to take the leash off of her but let me know what you guys think take it easy have a good day um i may do a live stream later so look out for that um and let me get to some water changes i'll talk to you guys later